Hello guys, welcome to uh, another video. In this one I will show you how you can uh, really easy uh, make a restricted content website where you can have uh, different accounts and each account can have access to different parts of your content. Each time you make a new piece of content, a new blog post or if you have custom post types, you can select with each individual post type which accounts should be able to access it and uh, others of course can't access it at the same time. The best thing of all, it's a free plugin. You have paid options. You can, for example, accept uh, payments also, but then you have to buy the, the, the full or the, the paying version. But if you want to use it, the basic options, you can do a lot of stuff and it's completely free. So let's get into it. First things first, we sh should find the plugin. So we go to the directory and we search for profile. Whoa, no, that was wrong. Profile. Profile builder. This is the one we uh, need to find. You see 60,000 plus activations. Let's click on install now. So by Cosmo Labs. If you're doubting, if you see Cosmo Labs profile builder, this is the one. Click on activate. Then you can, if you want to, let the plugin create all the different pages. So this will make a, lo a, a custom login page, a regis re register page, a uh, page where they can edit their profile. So if you click on this, I'll show you, I'll just do it. And then you see we have these three pages made by default. If we want to see what it looks like, there we go. Now you see I am logged in uh, into my account and then you have the edit profile where you can, will see this is my name where you can select a user uh, and then change some stuff about your uh, and change your password. So the users, if you want them to be able to edit some stuff, uh, then they can do this uh, here. And a register is for people that aren't already here. If you want to, you can make people register about themselves and then they can be accessing your uh, website afterwards. If you don't want uh, to have that, of course, I want to be able to um, check and control who is able to make an account. So you can just remove the page, of course, and then it will be gone from your website. Now, if we go inside of the settings here, settings, then you can, uh, there are a lot of options. Um, so automatically log in. This will, um, if you want, if you leave the registration page and people register and you want them to be automatically logged in then you click on yes so if they make an account they will be immediately logged in as well if you don't want this just select no and then they will have after the registration they will still have to log in to be able to access the websites um, roles editor this is something you should activate this is really awesome so I'm putting on yes, I will show you in a minute. And then you can choose how they want, how they are logging in with their username and email or one of both is okay. Uh, minimum password length, if you want them to be having at least eight numbers, for example. And then minimal password strength, if you want them to have a strong password, you can select it here or you can disable it if you don't mind it. So now I've put this on yes. Admin bar, you can see here, the different user roles if you want the admin bar the black one here on top if you want it to be hidden from certain roles you can select it here and then here content restriction is also something we want to activate now yes and then you can see i want the type of restriction i want a message or i want to redirect i'm just going to put message and leave it by default now but you can change this if you want to i've put here content restriction on yes i have to save it of course now it's activated and then with general settings, I've put roles editor also on yes. So this is users roles editor. So you can go to users roles editor. So th this is going to be a new thing. And now you can make this. These are the default WordPress roles, but let's say I want to make a student website where they have access to their courses, student level one, for example, I'm just making some stuff up. And then you can see what are the capabilities that they should have. Should they be able to edit some stuff in the dashboard, edit files, export, import. And so you can see, I'm just going to do on read. So they should be able to read stuff, but that's all I want them to be able to do. And I'm going to publish them. And then I also want to add a new one student level two, for example, and same thing. I want them to be able to read it capability and publish. 
So now I have two extra rules. So if I go to add new, you see here I can access these as well. Yes. So how can we use this now in the, let's say I'm making a new post or the default one that's already here. Let's open it up. And now you will see at the bottom, every time you make a post, you will see there is an extra option window here, display for. First and foremost, you should check logged in. So only logged in people will be able to see it. And then you will, for example, I want only student level one to be able to see it, but not level two. Then you put this and administrator, that's me. I'm also going to uh, do it for me. Um, if you want to, you can do a custom message uh, for people that aren't able to, for, are logged out and then people that are logged in, but they haven't got the right role. You can put in um, something special if you want to have a, you should buy level two, for example, something like this. You click on update and this is now only for student level one and not for level two. So. Let me show you if I make a new user, I'll make him level two. So now I have level one, I have level two. Let me log out. And now let's go with level two. Level two, let's log in. So you see, I have, uh, I'm logging in to this page now, so I can be, um, I'm able to change some stuff. I can add a profile picture. This is the default WordPress page, but I'm gonna show you how you can set it up so they are able, and now you see this is, you should buy level two. So they can't see the content of the post. It's the default message that's here. If I log out again, it's also accessible by here, I'll log out. Now you have the default login page. You can also set it up so it's the, the nice looking login page. Let's go with level two now. Uh, level one, for um, I should say. And password level one login. So you are currently logged in as level one. And then let's go to the post. Read more. Welcome to WordPress. This is your first post. So you see this is the, the content that normally should be available for level one. It is level two. They had a message you should buy level two or level one first. Yeah. And the comments as well, they are uh, available here. Um, if I go back with level two. I'm really bad at typing today. Level two, logging in again going to this clicking on it you see also the comments are completely blocked so people that are having the right role for example they can discuss some stuff with each other or with you but people that haven't got the right role they aren't able to access the post and they are not able to um, add comments as well so that's a really really awesome feature yeah let me go to the admin account again so I'm back into my admin account. What should we also do? We have some extra settings we could do. Um, let's have a look, let's have a look. So this is also possible that if people register that you still have the ability to first uh, check if they are legit, but then again, you have to have a paid version. Okay, so that's something you could do. The admin bar, I don't want level one and level two to see it. So I'm gonna click on hide and save it. So now this black bar is going to be away. Content restriction, again, you can have a default message if you want it to be, you can change it here. Private website, if you activate it, what you can do is instead of the default WordPress login page, you can see, say I want them to be redirected to the login page and this is this one. And then they will be going to this one uh, by default and not the, the more ugly looking WordPress login page. So you can check this here. Uh, hello page to be accessible to be accessible for example then you can hide all menus if you're not logged in also 
and then save changes. So now it's a private website and it's going to redirect people that go to the website to log in, but they are able to access one page even if they are not logged in. So this can be your homepage, for example, that this one is accessible and all other parts of your website uh, get a pop-up immediately by and saying that they have to log in. So now I have a content restriction is on. So this uh, allows me to, when I make a new post, to select, let's make a new one, level two only. And let's add an image. Voila. Then go scroll down and then I want it only to be for logged in users and it should be a level two student. Publish. So now this is okay. Let me log out and then go to, I want my level two, level two, log in. So you are currently logged in as level two and then you see this is accessible now. So let me click on the home page. You see level two only and he will be able to see the picture with the previous post. But if I click on the previous post, you should buy level two. You see this one is still not accessible. So each post individually can be um, can be restricted and you can make as many accounts uh, or different roles as you want. Of course, level two only will still be available. Yeah. And once more, they can put comments in as well. You can, of course, uh, leave this uh, um, make this not accessible by default if you don't want to have comments on your website. This page is login, so I've put this in that even if people are logged out, they are able to see the page. Yeah? So this is maybe a logic thing to do, that people can always see the login page. If they go to the home page without being logged in, you see it's automatically referring me back to this page. So I'm not able to access the login page as um, or the home page at, at all because I've put in a private website. I've checked, I want it to be a private website. It's only the pages that you've put in that are accessible will be accessible for people. All the other pages that they try to access, if I remove all this and open up the home page again, it reloads and it automatically redirects me. So people are obliged to be logged in. Yeah, if I want to be able, if, if people should see something more, you can make a new page, for example, the home page, and you can add the home page again to the allowed pages, and then they will be able to access all the pages that you've specified. And as soon as they, for example, have a link for some, from somebody else that contains some a content that you don't want them to be able to see, they will automatically be redirected and they are prompted to log in. Going back to level one, logging in. I'm logged in as level one. Now I can see the menu again and I can see the home page again and I can access it that of course as well. Level two only. So I can see the excerpt here, but if I click on it, you see already the, pay, the um, image that was here is not accessible. And you see it is all, also here, this content is restricted. So they are not able to see uh, some stuff of the content in the excerpt as well. So a really powerful app that allows you to do a lot of really cool stuff. And you also see like the black bar that used to be on top here is also gone because I've chosen to hit it from my level one and level two users. So they are not automatically going to the back end. So, yeah. Let me again log in with the admin. This is also a cool one. You can see if they have to have an, a certain email domain, you can put this on and only um, allow people with a Gmail account or whatever, if, or if they have the, an email account, for example, if you have a website where a lot of users are uh, able to log in, but they all have an, uh, a custom email, that's the domain name of the website as well. You can uh, check this one and only people with the right email address will be able to access or make an account themselves. Other ones won't be able to do this. Thank you.